Well, we're up at the trout pond today and we're using what we call float and fly. There's a tiny little bobber by Plastilite, about three quarters of an inch, and I got about four feet of a dropper on four pound test line. And what I have here is a tiny little bead head, almost you would call it a nymph, but I just tied it with the bead head on here for a little bit of weight and a nice strong number eight hook. Now, what we sometimes do with this hook is we try to open it up a little bit. This might be a little bit strong to open up, but I'll open it up a little bit more so that a fish can actually come and grab it. And what we'll do is we'll put a, put a mealworm on that. This worked yesterday. Now, it might not work today, but we're going to try it for a little while. I like to hook the mealworm so the mealworm is still moving around. I'll just hook them once through the middle like that and get that get that mealworm so he can do a little bit of his stuff. Once he gets out there in the water, he's going to carry on a little bit and hopefully that trout can see him and smell him. And what species of fish is this rig and tactic effective for? Well, it's good for these hatchery trout, but it's also good for bluegills and crappies. I've caught bass on it, just about anything. Anything will take it. And you can use all kinds of jig variations, you know, 64th ounce jigs up to 8th ounce. Uh, of course, you'd have to have a bigger bobber, things like that. But uh, that's the basic, basic rig for a lot of different species of fish. And you're letting the wind do most of Most of it. Most of it. When you see me reel up like that, I'm actually trying to keep up with the wind so I don't get a loop in my line. Now, what do you do when there's no wind? Uh, then I have to work it myself. But I usually like the wind. It, especially when it's a little bit choppy, it bobs it up and down. Seems to have a little more of an enticing movement than when I do it. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. Let's see if I can't get this fish in. And there's a nice 17 inch trout. Let's get him. Big golden. Big golden trout. Some of them call it a palomino. Again, he hit the little hair jig. Which generically looks like a lot of different things. Not a bad bluegill, almost impossible to see him take the bobber under. Nice little rainbow. Acting kind of silly. That one took the jig with the mealworm that time. A little alternative to the float and fly. Yeah, this is the rod and reel I've been using for the trout today. It's a Daiwa Presso, seven foot six inch. It's actually a little bit long for an ultralight rod, but it, the long rod helps me get a hook set on these fish, which are sometimes out a little further. Using four pound test SOS trout magnet line, very thin line, but it's a tough line. Also, it, it's being monofilament, it will stretch. So that's why you want a longer rod to get a hook set on some of these trout when they take that bobber under. The reel I'm using is a, a Sienna, Shimano Sienna 500, I'm using small jigs today, tiny jigs, hair jigs, 64th of an ounce. It's very windy today. We struggled with the wind, but, but we've caught a number of nice fish. So that's my setup for hatchery trout, just about everywhere. Don't miss another cool fish talk video, click below to subscribe.